Hello friends, it's me Doom and we're back at the Naharan River, North Carolina to hunt a different kind of predator than we did last time. Last time we went after the pike in Emerald Lake, New York. Today we are going for the long nose gar. There we are. You can see him here in all of his long nosiness and gariness. Now the thing about the long nose gar is that they enjoy a little bit of sunlight on their back. That is a good thing to remember. You can find them close to the top of the water, pretty much laying stock still, basking in the sun. They're ambush predators, just like the pike. They use their long jaw full of needle-like teeth to hold their prey still and, and munch. Now I'm gonna be breaking this video down into three sections. First, we're gonna start with location. Next, we're gonna cover tackle and gear. And then finally, the most important part of any fishing trip, the retrieve. Now, let's get on that location, shall we? So when it comes to timing for gar, it's pretty much anything past 3 p.m. goes. The sunnier the day, the better. So optimally, what you're looking for is a day like this, a sunny day. Here in the evening, this is when your gar fest is gonna be. But since we're here, Let's go ahead and start things off around 4 o'clock, shall we? Now, I do have a few spots for this, but I'm going to show you my favorite. That's this guy right here. Same place I fish for my catfish, as you'll find out. If you've seen the, my, cat, my flathead catfish fishing video, that's a lot of fish in one sentence, then uh, you will recognize this spot more than likely. I'm going to say for 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock sounds good. All right, so here it is, just right here, just like always. Now, you'll note on the opposite bank, we got some goo, got some weeds and whatnot over here. We're gonna be steering clear of the goo, but just barely. Now, like I said before, long-nosed gar are ambush predators, much like pike, but they don't hide in the reeds, or the weeds, or what have you. They hide just outside, waiting for small fish to uh, to come out and play. So we're going to be shooting for around here-ish, right in front of the weeds. Now let's take a look at that gear. What I brought today for catching them is some medium cut bait. Large minnows apparently work as well, but go with medium or heavy cut bait, and that'll be your best bet. Now. I normally use a number 4 aught hook, but I've stepped it up today. I'm using a 5 aught, and if that doesn't catch me a trophy, I'm going to be using the 6 aught. We'll see how all that works as well. Now, medium cut bait is a heavy bait, which means you're going to need a larger bobber. I went ahead and went with the chubby here. And it says in the description that we can expect them to be 2 to 7 pounds. So my suggestion is bring a reel that can handle at least a an eight to eight pound test or more and because uh, they do apparently go up to 22 pounds and yeah and a rod that is able to do the same they can handle all of that so what we're going to do here is just going to lay it up right next to the reeds or right next to the weeds rather Shaboom. The retrieval is pretty simple. Basically, you're going to let the bobber carry the bait all the way to the end of the weeds. There's nothing special at this particular spot. There might be a little bit of fanciness that you have to do at other spots, which I may show you here in a little bit. But this is, like I said, this is my, my lazy day preferred spot. Now, one thing I did forget to mention is, like I said, they hang out kind of near the top of the water, so you're, uh, your prime area here is going to be between 10 and let's say about 30. So I'm going to go with 25. And I think that's going to be our magic number today. Let's see what we can get. Now as far as the cast, like I said before, just right up there against the weeds. No need to go into them. We're going to hit them where they live or where they hang out and, and feed. So uh, hopefully this will work. And before you know it, you'll have your very own long nose gar. 
Now, you gotta remember, these guys are all lean muscle. Pretty much 95% muscle. So, for their size, they do give up kind of a good fight. Let's take a look at this one. That's a pretty good one, too. Not quite a trophy, though. Let's move on to another spot. That was the Woody Enchantment. We're going to go down one to Rubble of Old Times. We're then going to head over here to this area. And this is where our old spot was. Hang on, let me... This is where we're standing for our old spot. What we're going to do is we've got some some weedage over here. Now, a lot of people have told me that this strip right here in particular is where they catch the most trophy gar. All right, so we were over here in the Woody Enchantment and we're gonna go over here to the great parking job and I'm gonna show you another place that I've run into some gar, mostly by accident. This is also my secondary catfishing area. We're gonna go over here right to the corner, sitting right next to the old truck and we're going to cast right in front of these weeds right here. Now if you've made it this far in the video, you're probably interested in what I have to say. That being said, I am too. If you like this new format, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you have an idea for the next fish I should go after, leave it down in the comments as well. I love doing requests, and in fact, because some things have changed in the newer version of this game, since it's released on PlayStation, I'm going to be going back and redoing a couple of my old videos, and I hope you join me so that you can relearn the newest and best techniques for all sorts of things. Now, I don't know if you noticed up there at the top right, I was getting a lot of bites, but not a lot of strikes, so I moved down to a number 4 odd hook. That's not a bad one either. Not as good as the last one, though. Now, as you can see, these guys aren't worth a lot of money. However, that'll all change if you catch a unique. And they are a decent fight if you have level 10 equipment, let me tell you. Like, the only way you're going to get this thing in is if it lets you. Alright, because I said we'd do it, I went ahead and switched to a number 6 odd hook. And let's see if we can find out if this works any more efficiently than the 4 odd or 5 odd. I can see he's playing with it. Come on, big guy, take it. All right, so let's end this how-to with a little review of what we found out through experimenting with hook sizes. Now, first off, my preferred bait is medium cut bait. As you can see here, large cut bait works as well. And I bet you that that will give you a better chance of finding a trophy or unique because hook size sure isn't doing it. That being said, I've tried a number six aught, a number five aught, and a number four aught. The number four aught is the only is the only hook that I'm getting strikes with. So I think my preferred hook would either be a number three aught or a number four aught. You're going to need medium or large cut bait to use as bait. A rod, reel, and line that can handle at least eight to ten pounds because they are fighters they are good fighters all these baits are heavy baits so at least a chubby and and if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this in the future let me know down in the comments and also hit that subscribe button so you don't miss them but questions still remain. For example, what's the next fish we go after? If you guys leave something down in the comments there, you can find out the answer to that and more on the next episode of Vindoom Gaming!